There are just so many weapons in Elden Ring that throughout your journey in the lands between, you are bound to miss some things. And not even just specific weapons, there may be whole weapon classes that you just don't touch for the longest time. And if there is one weapon class that I personally was sleeping on the most, it would have to be Twin Blades. There are a total of six Twin Blades in the game, and I'm going to be trying each of them out just for you. And without giving too much away, there is actually a Twin Blade that is probably the most stylish weapon in the entire game. But more on that later. For now, let's get to the round table. All right, first things first, we have the Twin Blade with Blood Affinity, aka the Blighty Twin Blade. But now then for the Ash of War, we are rocking Spinning Slash, and then as you can see, we get really, really solid blood loss on this weapon. Oh yeah, and I know a lot of you guys are curious about what armor I wear in these videos, so I have the Land of Reed's Helm, the Ronin's Armor, the Eccentrix Manchettes, and the Ronin's Greaves. Now as for the most basic Twin Blade moveset, you know, you got the Light Attack String, it is multi-hit, so proccing status effects is very, very easy with Twin Blades. Then you have the Uncharged Heavies. And then the Charged Heavies. Very, very clean. Then you have the Backstep. The Rolling Attack. The Running Light. As well as the Sprinting Heavy. And Spinning Slash is sort of a staple for Twin Blades. Most Twin Blades that you get will come with this Ash of War on it. All right, first opponent of the day, Mad Sekiro. Hello. How you doing? Hey. Ooh, that's still reached. God, dude. Hagakiba, man. So good. Okay, he has quite a few weapons. Nice. Oh wait, yeah, I just realized I didn't even show off the jumping attacks. Watch, I'm gonna hit him with the jumping heavy right here. Yeah. Okay, wait, I was about to say, how have we not procced bleed yet? But he has balluses. Very, very close fight. Good fight, dude. Now, that fight was good, but I feel like I gotta land all of Spinning Slash, get the fat bleed damage, all that good stuff. Own pull, hello. Is that Moonvale? That looks like Moonvale. Is that Uchi? Oh my, wow. That was just instant, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, dude. Yeah, this is nice. Good fight. Okay, I am genuinely very, very impressed by this setup. I was consistently staggering, consistently doing solid damage. You combine spinning slash and bleed on a twin blade. It is just a recipe for success. This genuinely feels ridiculous to use and we are only on the first twin blade. And for the second twin blade of the day, I have the cold twinned knight swords with sword dance. With Cold Affinity, you get a very nice B scaling in strength and 127 frost buildup. And like I said, Twin Blades are so good when you have status effects on them. Oh, and I should probably give you a clearer look at the jump attacks. Here's the jumping light and the jumping heavy. And I don't know why, but Sword Dance on a Twin Blade just feels so much cooler than any other weapon. I don't know why. And this Twin Blade has the same moveset as the last one. Pretty much every single Twin Blade has this moveset. However, there are a couple exceptions that do have unique attacks. But don't worry, we'll get to that. Hello, sus. Oh my god, dude. That feels so nice. <laughs> Oh, wow, dude. Okay. Uh, good fight. And now that I'm thinking about it, this may be a good setup to try out the power stance moveset. And for all you guys who are curious, here is what it looks like. It is very, very fast. However, mainly what people do whenever it comes to power stancing twin blades is they just run at you and jumping power stance attack you. Weapon Master Bell, how you doing? Oh, oh okay. That was nice. Okay. He has the sweep. I understand. 
And also the one hand moveset for Twin Blades really is not that bad. Specifically the running light attack. It's just a nice stab. What, what is going on? You good? Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, good fight. <laughs> that was uh, that was strange. They just kind of like stopped mid fight. I don't know. I don't know what was going on. And I know that we're only a couple twin blades in, but these setups have just been so nasty. Like twin blades feel a lot better than they used to be. Now, I know I've been hyping up status effects on Twin Blades for pretty much this entire video so far, but these next two setups that I'm going to show you are proof that you don't necessarily need a status effect to see success with a Twin Blade. And the first setup I'm using is a Flame Art God Skin Peeler with a Black Flame Tornado, because in case you didn't know, whenever you get this weapon, it actually comes with Black Flame Tornado. And this Twin Blade actually has unique heavy attacks, which are just very, very cool. It utilizes the spiked end of the twin blade. As for all the other attacks, they are just the basic twin blade moves. And for all of you guys who are curious as to what Black Flame Tornado looks like, here you go. It does work with successive attack buffs, and if people get caught in that, their health bar is just getting obliterated. Provo Sissa, hello. What is good? <laughs> that was an anime moment. And that's death. Or not? Damn, I'm surprised that they got out of that second part. That was kind of crazy. But hey, not even hitting the full thing. That was just 1,200 damage right there. That is so good. Good fight. I feel like I got to take this into an invasion, no? Ooh, okay, Shaded Castle. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah, he's poisoned now. He ain't got no shot. Wait, what? How am I not doing any damage? Is it just lag? Okay, yeah, there we go. GG's. Black Flame Tornado, very, very strong in multi-combat. Not too bad in duels either. Just a very, very fun Ash of War to use. And I am a total fan of the Godskin Peeler. I think the unique heavies are good. If you want to run this weapon with status effects, it's absolutely insane. I think many would consider the Godskin Peeler to be the best Twin Blade overall. And for the fourth and final non-enchanted Twin Blade, we have the Gargoyles Twin Blade. I'm going with Heavy Affinity and Braggart's Roar. If you want to use a Twin Blade in a pure strength build, this is definitely the one that I would recommend. As for the moveset, there is, you know, nothing really unique about it at all. But of course, that is why we have a Braggart's Roar. And here is a look at the enhanced Twin Blade heavies, which I really, really love. I just think this first jump attack is so cool. All right, I think I'm going to keep Raggard's Roar in my back pocket for a sec. Oh, yeah. Nice little hyper armor trade there. Oh yeah, good fight, Thelia. And yeah, it's really just that simple with the Gargoyles Twin Blade. Just a fantastic strength weapon. You tack on Braggart's Roar. You know, you can just hyper armor trade with people, be an absolute menace, and you still get access to all the very, very fast attacks that Twin Blades have. And Braggart's Roar obviously isn't the only Strength Ash of War that I would recommend on this weapon. You know, you can go with Barbaric Roar, or lose Earthshaker is good. I mean, you can just run a lot of Ashes of War with Heavy Affinity and just go crazy with this weapon. Because, I mean, look at just how massive the Ash of War selection is or Twin Blades. You get access to, like, everything. Now, that is it for the non-enchanted Twin Blades. Now, we just have two more enchanted ones to use. 
One of them is that very, very stylish, awesome weapon I mentioned in the intro, while the other is honestly one of the most disappointing enchanted weapons in the entire game. So let's go ahead and get the lackluster one out of the way first. It is the Gargoyle's Black Blades. It does both physical and holy damage. You get B scaling in strength and D in faith. And the Astral War that you get on it is Spinning Slash. However, it is just normal spinning slash which doesn't make sense to me because then you have a weapon like the gargoyle's black blade and this weapon gets like a death flame vacuum slice ash of war called the corpse wax cutter so why doesn't the twin blade get a death flame version of spinning slash or something like that it just doesn't make sense to me and it seems like a lot of wasted potential if i'm being honest and i'm pretty sure the gargoyle's twin blade with sacred affinity is legitimately just better than the gargoyle's black blades which also does not make sense all right who do we have here alf how you doing you got dual curve swords i like it see even if just like your normal attacks did a little bit of chip damage like that would be nice but you don't even get anything like that Good fight. But yeah, there's really not a lot to say about the Gargoyles Black Blades besides I think they need a rework because this is just a basic vanilla twin blade disguised as an enchanted weapon. And again, compared to the Gargoyles Black Blade, which is in the same family, it is just so much more lame. Like, it's not necessarily a bad weapon, it's just disappointing. Okay, but enough of that boring-ass weapon. Now it is time for the sixth and a final twin blade of the day. It is what I believe to be one of, if not the most stylish weapon in the entire game. And if you couldn't guess, it's Eleonora's Pole Blade. It does physical and fire damage. It has C scaling and dex and D and arcane. And just take a look at this weapon. The deep red blades just give it a menacing look. And there are two aspects of this weapon that are unique. First, the heavy attack string is completely unique. No other twin blades have this heavy attack string. If my character spun this twin blade any faster, I'd probably take flight. But yeah, the heavy attacks are cool. And then, of course, the Ash of War Blood Blade Dance is, well, here you go. While this weapon is super cool and the weapon art is, you know, just awesome looking, notoriously, it has been a pretty hard weapon art to hit, especially like the entire thing. But hey, let's see what we can do. Oh my lord, that hyper armor. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, all right, all right. It's feeling good. Hey, good fight, dude. Bro, what the hell was that hyper armor? That was kind of nuts. I gotta get into another fight ASAP. Drug, hello. My final victim of the day. Are you ready? Oh. Oh, damn it. <laughs> dude, dude, this weapon's insane now. This weapon is actually insane now. Holy shit, dude. And I tell you what, after recording this video, I have a newfound love for Twin Blades. I think I was sleeping on them for a long time, but especially after this most recent patch, they are absolutely insane. Your attacks are actually going to stagger now. You have a plethora of Ashes of War to choose from. Status effects are absolutely disgusting on Twin Blades, but you don't necessarily need them. Or there are only being six Twin Blades in the game, this weapon class is very, very versatile. And seriously, after this most recent patch, they may just be top tier. Go ahead and comment down below what your favorite Twin Blade is. If I had to pick one, I'm going with the Eleonora's Pole Blade 100%. This is one of my favorite weapons in the game now, period. But if you enjoyed the video, press the like. And if you want to become a fellow Munker, all you got to do is press that subscribe and that noti bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.